Hello everybody and welcome to Hoover Revolt of Gamers by Midgar Studio. Singular, just studio, unlike most other companies that call themselves studios, plural. They're just, they're not so egotistical, they call themselves just singular studio. This is an alpha game that I backed on, I believe it was Kickstarter? Yeah, I think I only did one thing on Indiegogo. So, this was a while ago that I backed this game on Kickstarter, and I got a early access alpha code, what, yesterday? Today? This morning? Oh crap, I forget actually. I don't actually remember anymore. I've been doing way too much crap. Uh, but I decided to take a break from the coding that I have been doing for endless hours and play this game and do a little bit of recording. So I have done a little bit of playthrough, so I do know what this game is. Basically, it's like a obviously cell shaded esque version of Mirror's Edge, but open world and on these weird hover skates. I, 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 I don't know, I will show you in the game, but first let's take a quick look at the options. We have controls, which is really cool. We have basic mouse and keyboard controls. These are standard US keyboard controls. We have standard France controls, which are the default. So it confused the crap out of me. I'm like, Z for move forward, S for move backwards. That is completely opposite of what I'm used to. Well, apparently the French have a different keyboard. Um, then we have the Xbox controller. Well, conveniently I have an Xbox controller. And then I have this guy. And yeah, I know, it says the same exact thing as the first one, except it's slightly different. Well, one, the buttons are actually lit up. And that's because I can actually reassign the keys, so I can... Yeah, so you can create your own keyboard layouts, and you can add more of them. So you can have multiple keyboard layouts, I guess, for, like, multiple different people who want to play the game on the same computer, they can. Uh, and you can change, like, everything. It's really awesome. That's actually really, really cool. This is how you do it. Ooh, we can turn down the camera speed. We can invert horizontal, and we can invert vertical. Oy, that was actually kind of hard to say. Oh. My. God. Oculus support. Oh god, that would make me so, so bloody nauseous. I didn't know this thing had Oculus support. I really didn't until I started digging into the menu here. That is... Creepy? I have no idea what that's for. Mouse and keyboard, but I'm in mouse and keyboard. I have no idea. Alright. Uh, audio... Very, very basic. Master volume, music volume. I would assume there's going to be voice volume or maybe other things that you can change in there later. Again, alpha game. Literally, like, before anybody else can get it. I got it. It's like closed alpha at this point. It will be available April 6th for everybody else who wants to get in on the early access. Um, and I recommend it. This game is fun. Uh, then we got graphics, which I have turned down to pretty much the lowest just so I can get a decent frame rate while recording. It looks freaking gorgeous on my PC, but my PC has a G-Sync monitor, so I'm not noticing 24 frames per second, whereas other people I'm sure will. We have camera FOV. I like it at 75, but let's see, it goes the whole way up to 90. These sliders are confusing the hell out of me. I don't know if you can see my mouse, uh, because DX Tori is a little goofy when it comes to seeing my mouse. But I only have to move it an itty bitty, itty bitty tiny bit to get it to actually move much further. That's just weird for me. But it's not a big problem. Uh, we got level of detail, shadow distance, shadow quality, which is literally a toggle. Toggle. So like level of detail, 1, 1.52. No idea what that means. We have shadow distance, 30, 50, 70. Again, no point of reference for these things. No idea what that means. Um, shadow quality is a toggle on, off, and so from anisotropic on, off, V-Sync on, off. I'm not touching V-Sync, mostly because I have the really fancy G-Sync monitor, and you don't enable V-Sync for G-Sync. Uh, SMA, SMAA, uh, oscillation, both toggles. Then we have the resolution, which there are quite a few of them. Does this go up to 4K? It was up pretty damn high. 
3840 by 2160. Oh shit, I wonder if I'm actually recording in this in 4K. That would be a bad, bad thing. I told it full screen. It doesn't seem to be changing my resolution when, I, when I'm doing my thing. I, I, I honestly hope this is not recording in full full size 4K because it takes four fucking ever to encode. Uh, whatever. Um, so we have the presets, low, medium, high, and then custom. I left mine on custom and I turned everything off. Like I said, for the frame rate, for recording purposes, I still don't expect this to record all that well. But that's it for the menus. Not that, not the, you know, fancy, not that much detail, but that's fine. For right now, that's fine. We have an online mode where you can play against other people. We have an offline mode, which I've been playing with. Uh, so let's go into our offline. And we can see we have my character that I've pre-created. Uh, the, the, the reason my character is all black except for, like, the trim that's red uh, was due to a glitch. When I created the new character, the new character didn't show up, so I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so I, I, I set one of the sliders, not realizing there were other sliders to set, and it just kind of ended up this way. It's creepy looking, but I kind of like it. I don't know, but let's go, let's make a new gamer. And we can pick so far from three characters. And obviously we have preset stuff. Um, so let's see. Light trait offers a better acceleration but decreases strength. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Gifted trait offers bonus to all skills, but hover heat doesn't offer any bonus. I admit I don't fully understand all these things. I've only been playing for a little while. But yeah, so fun stuff. There's apparently also a fourth character. You have to unlock these characters during the uh, play, you know, as, as you play. And apparently I've only unlocked one. Is this supposed to be me? I guess this is supposed to be the original character. Somehow I ended up with this character. I, I don't actually know. But let's go with this. Um, very nondescript character here and we can set colors and stuff the sliders screw with my head like a lot because I move one slider the other sliders move I I don't fully get it like I don't know how I'm supposed to get white because all the sliders need to be up to get white so I don't know oh and we can change size I wonder if that changes the camera let's do really really short uh, what was I changing here? Oh, I was changing the trim. Boop. And then of course, see, this is white, but I don't know how to get there. Like, if I turn that down... Oh, now... What the hell? Okay, I don't understand this yet, so I'm just gonna let this go. I'm not gonna really futz with character creation too much. Let's actually get into the game. Um character let's create okay and then we go through a basic like tutorial type thing so this is our chat box we got the person on one side who's talking and then what they're saying on the other hey there new guy are you lost and then you mouse left click to go to next but I like how you can actually play the game while you're chatting though you can't run nearly as fast um, yeah, that's who I was playing as before. I, I, I don't really understand how that happened, but whatever. Searching for the resistance hideout? Too bad, wrong place. And then we got this guy. You're in one of the old hideouts, but it's been a while since it was abandoned. Follow, follow my instructions and I'll help you get out of here. All right. So now I have full access to my speed. And what I really enjoy... Well, there's actually quite a few things I enjoy. Like, just running around, you get this, like, slidey feeling when you turn sharply. So if, if I'm, like, running in one direction, and then I turn sharply, I, like, slide in the direction I was going and actually make a turn. Oh, God, I feel so short. Apparently, that actually was the case. Um, we have, let's see, in the upper left, we have the early alpha and the settings for said early alpha we have the energy in the top center which i have no idea what that means it's not really detailed anywhere so i'm not 100 percent sure upper right looks like it's going to be something but it isn't yet lower left chat history lower middle we got our speed and right now i think i seem to be able to max at 21 
22 somethings. I don't know if that's miles per hour or kilometers per hour, I would assume since the default is French, I would assume this is kilometers per hour, which is fine. Uh, underneath that, it says first, auto, and third. When I started sliding my uh, scroll wheel, that changes. And I didn't see the little pop-up in the matter where it says auto camera, first person camera, and then third person camera. So look, this is me. And I am so bloody short. <laughs> so apparently that worked. And you can see, yeah, so you could change your camera. So third person is obviously third person. First person is obviously first person. Auto is a neat little blend because you can do tricks like flips and such and it will automatically flip into third person when you're doing said tricks. Because in first person mode, if you do the tricks, it can be kind of disorienting and nauseating. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's a little goofy. All right, on the uh, lower right, we have our experience points, which is the zero out of 500 I have right now. Our level, which is zero out of 10. Our ping, which I'm assuming is, would only be active in online, and then we have the FPS. Of course, this is alpha, so of course we're going to get some demo stuff. Or I should say, uh, diagnostic stuff, yeah. Okay, I was going to say, my arm doesn't seem to want to move with me. Okay, anyways, uh, see that holographic barrier? There's a switch right beside it. Scan it and deactivate the barrier for you. It'll deact- or and I'll deactivate the barrier for you. Okay, so you hover over things and you hit the action button, which I have mapped to E, but it's also a uh, right mouse click, so I don't know. And that's pretty much it. You just press and hold, it does its thing. Whee! I love doing that. That is so, so much fun. Uh, find the button that's up there. Oh, I gotta get closer. There we go. Boop. Wee. But this game is a little weird. Oh, we've left behind a container. Yes, it appears so. Get closer to that box and scan it. The switch to open it. I feel so short. I love how the shortness actually affects the c camera and everything. It's great. It doesn't just affect appearance. It actually affects how you play the game. Uh, I have a console box. Um, you can't miss it. It's an X marked box. It's over there. It just says, now that you have it, it doesn't actually explain what this is, but apparently, that's a GameCube. <laughs> uh, we've played them all around, or we've placed them all around a the town. They're very useful to give consoles back to the people. Yes, the, the point of this game is kind of like Mirror's Edge, except instead of information being limited, it's game consoles. Okay, so you run around and... Uh, basically gather up game consoles, which is, this is the game Ball instead of the game Cube. There's also the game Girl instead of the game Boy. There we go. Um, now I'm gonna ask you to trust me on this one and jump into the trap. Just checking if you're worthy of being part of the resistance. Yes, well, that's more to teach you something really useful. So, trap. Boink. And I'm in the trap. Don't panic, you can get out back up again thanks to the rewind feature of your suit. Oh shit, I forgot we had this thing. All you have to do is press R, and you just back up. So you can like do all kinds of crazy crap and then just rewind it. It's crazy. I love it. And I totally forgot I could do that. I wonder how long, I've been, yeah. Now climb the wall and go to the next room, yes. Ugh, there we go. It is actually a little bit difficult to maneuver in first person because you're not seeing everything, but it's not bad. Uh, prove us you're not a noob. Nothing too complicated, don't worry. To leave this room, you have to grind on the big yellow glowing, or the big glowing tubes going along the wall. That's that stuff over there to get up to there. So I guess in that respect, it's kind of like Portal. Whoa. Jump on tracks or barrier and press the shift key or B on the Xbox controller to slide. It also works on walls. Okay, so it hasn't noticed that I switched this to control because I prefer crouch as control. So I got used to that. 
uh, so I switched it. Apparently it didn't update. Okay. Jump. Grind. Whee! Boing! Yay! Uh, we destroyed the stairs when we left the place. You have to wall jump. And yeah, so this is basically the tutorial mission where it's teaching how to actually play the, <laughs> the game. Oh man, I can't believe how much being short changes the game. Like, I could do that in one jump when I was playing previously. That is awesome. You are free now. We're not against getting help, so if you stumble upon a console or if you can stop the mayor's anti-video game propaganda, go right ahead. Yeah, 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 okay. I get the point. Whee. Yes. And now it's open world. Now I can just pretty much go wherever the crap I want. There are missions hanging around places. Whee! Oh, this feels so weird. And there are actually people. And they jump out of the way when you get close to them, too. Uh, let's see if I can get into a good position to show off this world. Ugh. There's... It's gonna get hard getting... Er, ah, come on. Here we go. Ugh. It's gonna get hard getting... Or, er, going to be hard getting used to this character. Because it's so much shorter than my previous character and I've only really played once. Woo! But he jumps fucking high. Woo. Ah! I fell off. I can't show off what I was going to show off. Come on, run up the wall, jump. There we go. Okay. Is over here good enough? Alright, so we can see how far down this goes. So the first time I ran out here, I thought, oh, well, if I fall down there, I'm going to, you know, die. Of course, I thought that in the process of me falling down there. <laughs> so the first thing I do is just go running out and just, like, jump and go, oh, crap, I'm going to die. Nope. It's completely open world. The world, it's, seriously. Yes, yes, yes. It's bitched about what I just ran through. Come on, I can't just slam through it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, it's completely open world. I haven't found a place that I can't go yet. Outside of places that are actually marked with not available in alpha version. So this is pretty much completely open world, which is awesome. Whee! And here's one of those guys we were talking to. So if I load him... Basically, I get missions, so uh, this is teaching me how to play the, the ball game, which I'm guessing is a neat multiplayer game. Uh, try to beat one of my times on game ball throwing. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, okay, so this is also neat because this was designed around multiplayer worlds. All right, so you see start mission here. If I back out, it says I've left the mission. But I can come right back. So basically what happens is somebody starts a mission and then waits till everybody gets here who wants to do the mission. And then we can start the mission. Whee! And then you just grab the ball, which is auto. You throw it with right click. And you just go back and forth. And this is just a basic training mission. Whee! To teach you how to play the game. I just want to point this out while I'm thinking about it because I know I'm going to forget but I freaking love this music it's awesome, it's perfect for this game Whee. three more points I have to get so much closer because I'm so much shorter uh, one more point. Yay, I beat it. I managed it. Yes, I'm not that bad at video games. So yeah, anyways, so let's go to a little bit of a third person and I'll show you a little bit of the game mechanics. So we have wall runs, straight up wall runs. We got, you can jump off the walls. You crouch and you slide, and that's how you do tricks. You do your grindy thing, and then you jump. 
And it works in a couple different directions too. Like I can grind sideways and it'll jump sideways. Uh, I just so very much enjoy this game. And there's ways to do it. I don't, I don't know how. But you can backflip too. I just don't really know how. Yeah, I'll figure it out. And I have no idea what that Hoover Heat means. Not a clue. So, whatever. But I love the little slidey feel that you get when you like get up to speed and you just start sliding around. Like if you try to go around corners really sharply, like this one right here, you will slide around the corner. And I just love it. Uh, I'm enjoying this game just so, so much. And it's freaking alpha. All right, so let us get a little bit more into the gameplay. I don't really know what the story is yet. I don't think I've gotten far enough to actually fully understand the story. But basically lying around, there are missions like this guy right here. So I scan it and it deploys this mission. And it's like, the, it's the same like all the others where it just waits for all the players. Apparently there's a countdown. Um, but I can just skip that since it's just me. And it's a race. <laughs> Which I'm only going 26 miles per hour, 27, so I don't have much, you know, performance. Whee! I love doing those flips in first person mode. <laughs> it's, it's just great. It feels amazing. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like if I'm doing it with the Oculus. I have so, so got to try that sometime here soon. Uh, sad to say, when I'm done playing this game, though, when I'm done recording it, I'm going to have to go back to work because I've got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. Oh, well. This is a good stress reliever game. I love it. I'm enjoying this game so much. I mean... This is just, like I said, early alpha, and I think it's worth every penny I spent. Uh, I don't even remember how much I backed this thing for. And that thing came back. I wonder if they're supposed to come back. Whee! But that's all it is. It's just a race. I'm assuming, like I said, it's going to be a multiplayer thing. So if, yeah, if you got multiple people in the, in the game... There's going to be like a first, second, third, that kind of thing. I just love doing that so, so much. But I'm not sure, 100% sure how that all works. Like I said, I just got this game. And I won the race. But you get experience points, and as you get new levels, see how it's blinking down there? It says new level. Uh, escape brings up the menu, and you get... Um, mission editor I still haven't played or played with everything about this game edit gamer brings up all of your stats so you can actually level up your stats now you notice it said level 0 of 10 and right now it says level 1 of 10 and I have one point so you get one point per level but there's what 6 18 total points to max out everything so, yeah, so I, I like this, okay? I understand a lot of people would prefer being able to max out everything. I actually like this because it means that every character is going to be different. So every character is going to have their strengths and every character is going to have their weakness. Personally, uh, acceleration or speed. Jump is useful too. I don't have to worry about strength because it's, you know, multiplayer kind of thing and I don't have to worry about that. Energy improves hover heat mode efficiency, which I still don't know what hover heat means. So this means nothing to me right now. I would assume, I don't know, maybe it's performance boost. Like you, you, you accelerate faster. Like there are things that pop up. It's like low energy, stats lowered, high energy, hover heat or whatever, stats raised. So I'm assuming that's this stuff right here. If you're in a stats raised, you get more of everything or something. I don't know, I'm guessing. I'm gonna go with speed for the first one. Resume. And I like that too, so when you hit resume, you get this, like, overview kind of thing. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, 
which I'd assume possibly that it would show your other, or the other people in the game. Hmm. Uh, what are you? I don't know. That's just tax stuff and... Huh. Ew. Log history, chat history, and then write something. Hello. Boop. Oh, hitting enter just do does that. It's not something I would expect to see, but hmm, whatever. All right, so. Whee. Now, this map, from what I've seen, is freaking huge. And I mean huge. And it's not just horizontal, it's vertical. Like, that's a highway up there. Right there. That's a highway with cars on it. You can see one passing by over there. I was up there chasing cars earlier. So you can get up there. It takes forever. I'm not good enough at the game to confidently, easily get up places. So it takes me a while to get up anywhere. Boing. But conveniently, or inconveniently, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this quite yet. You can, um... Alright, where can I go from here? Nowhere! Can I get up there? Maybe? Let's find out. I can. <laughs> Woo! Okay, back up a second. I was trying to shift run. Shift run kind of doesn't work in this game. Oh! Crap. I didn't know where I was. I had grabbed onto the side. Like, you can grab onto the side of things, but if you turn your head, you fall off. So, that's a little distracting. But yeah, what was I saying? This game is huge and freaking gorgeous. Even in, like, low quality mode. Like, I turned off anti-aliasing, and honestly, I think it looks better. I mean, yeah, okay, we see some jaggies there, but the textures look better. See if I can make this. Nope, couldn't make that one. I guess I needed to jump a little harder. Eh, anyways, let's go find somewhere else to run around. But that's so far what I've seen I can do is just run around, do the missions, uh, and do little side quests. Like, uh, whoa. Doop. Uh, like, how do I describe it? Like those red things that I found, the propaganda, those up there. That's pretty much all I've seen that we can do yet. But I'm sure... But I'm just having a hell of a lot of fun just running around and just sliding around. I love... You're just... Ee, and all that. It's just so much fun just sliding around. I, I love it. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. Uh, what you can do, you can right-click, hold right-click or hold E, or whatever you set the default, your scan to, which, what was the standard? I forget. I forget what the default was. Uh, but you can hold right click, and you can see all of the locations. So there's a mission down there, scan to deploy, jump through, that's one of them uh, propaganda things that you have to destroy. Hack container is like a chest with uh, quests in it, that kind of thing. But you could also do other stuff. Like, I thought this was pretty awesome. You can scan the phone booths, and it gives you a little bit of history about the game. The iHUD, which I'm assuming is basically what I'm looking at right now, is basically like the iPhone from Futurama. You know, where it has the heads-up display in front of them. Um, and it's commenting about why are there public phone booths if everybody has these iHUD things, makes the phone booths utterly worthless. But it's actually talking about how the government put them in place so that everybody, even the people that can't afford these high HUD things, that that is awesome. Oh, I hit it. I hit escape. Hang on. No, play. Okay. Let us. I found there's a hack container up there. Let's see if I can get at it. So yeah, it's kind of like, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of like Mirror's Edge with all the platforming and such. But it goes a little bit, well, a lot a bit beyond. Oh, there's a game ball. So now I have to go throw it in the game ball hole. 
So I've got to somehow get to the game ball hole, which I am not good at getting up at all. So it's up there. Whee! Uh, oh, I missed that one. All right, so it's up there. How do I get up there? Let's go up these stairs and see what we can find. Whee! Not a hell of a lot. Not available in alpha version. Oh, apparently there's a hallway right there. Yeah. Can I get by chance over there? Ugh. Crap, no. Crap! Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, all right. I ain't gonna be able to get there. I am not that good at this game. All right, well, I am going to end this video here with my final thoughts on this game. And my final thoughts are, this game is insanely worth it. Worth it. It's incredible. As it stands right now, the game... Well, actually, I have no idea how much the game would cost for uh, people. If I had to guess, I would guess $30 US. If I had to guess. Is it worth it right now? Yes. Uh, just in my personal opinion, yes, I think the game is worth it. Ow, come on. I have no idea what those white things are. I keep catching them. I think they actually just fill up your energy and make you run faster. And that's it. I think that's all they do. Oh, it is such a pain in the butt to get out of here. But at least I know how to get out of here. Yeah, that seems to just kick up your hover heat, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, anyways, uh, yes, I believe the game is very much worth the money, even if it is $30 for the early access. I would highly, highly recommend picking it up, and I could imagine that it would only be even more fun if you actually have friends to play it. Play it with, I should say. I wonder if this thing's going to realize that I've given up on trying to get the ball. <laughs> Probably not until I leave. Um, boom, and I'm back where I started. So, I will end where I began, mostly anyways, and say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.